friends welcome back to our channel so today we are going to be starting some seeds so uh, I thought I would just hang out with you guys okay guys so like I said we're starting seeds <clears throat> some seeds today it is January 23rd we are in zone 7b cheers got my coffee and so what I am doing right now is I'm going through all of my seeds and I kind of have an idea of what I'm going to be starting seed wise, but <clears throat> I just want to make sure I have picked out a couple mint and rosemary. I'm going to be planting today for sure. One thing, like if you are just like, well, I don't know when am I supposed to start seeds on almanac.com, they have a seed planting calculator where you can plug in your zip code or your area and it will give you date ranges okay the first thing that i did just to kind of show you guys is i took my calendar and so i just have a just a regular little calendar book and i went to our last frost date so right here I think I put April 4th because that's what it was last year, but it's actually April 3rd, but it's one day, so whatever. So, and you can see I put a one, and then what I did is I counted backwards. And, well, I went backwards in the year, but counted forward. Do you know what I mean? So as I'm looking at my seeds, I can keep that in mind because your seeds will tell you when you can plant them. Broccoli for sure is one that I know I'm gonna be starting. I've got two varieties here. I've got an early purple from Baker Creek and then a De, De Chicho, I'm saying that wrong, De Cicio. And this one is from Botanical Interests. I really like the Botanical Interests because on the back, it gives really great information. It even shows you what the seedling should look like. I've got my calendar. I've got my log book. This log book has nothing but dates. I put all the dates of when I start things in here. I just got this off Amazon. I'll put a link down below. Next up, we've got kale. I've only got one variety of kale will grow in the snow. I've seen people where, like, well, we had snow here over New Year's. We had snow. How many inches did we have? Three. Like three inches of snow, and I did not cover them, and they are doing fine. Brussels sprouts is another one I'm gonna be growing. They are also frost hardy. Another one here that we've got is bok choy that I will be planting. seed starting peppers, celery, Swiss chard, spinach, kohlrabi, bok choy, Brussels sprouts, kale, broccoli, mint, and rosemary. As far as direct sow, we will be direct sowing carrots and lettuce. I think I have some five gallon buckets out there because normally I do my lettuce in these raised beds, but the raised beds are Ella's, is going to be Ella's garden. So I think I will do, we have these big, five gallon, this like five gallon, they were like food, food grade buckets and we cut it in half. And I think I might do lettuce in those. So that way they're kind of separate. That way they are easier to get to because you harvest, harvest and go. Yeah. But I think I'm gonna take you guys outside. It's super dreary and cold, but I wanted to show you guys the onion sets that I planted the other day. Now, I will say it's a little windy out, but this is our first time doing a spring garden at this magnitude. We've always just done raised beds or this cat is gonna be all of a muffy container or along those lines. So the capacity and the amount, I'm sorry, I have to look down because otherwise I'll end up stepping on this cat. He just walks at my feet. Look. Sweet boy. Why don't you go find some mice? Can you go find some mice? Anyway, 
here's the raised bed. I've showed you guys this before. See, I've still got some dinosaur kale that's coming in. This is cauliflower. I don't, it's growing, but I don't know what that is. Anybody, can you help me out? I don't know if that just means that it frosted, fr froze. I think that's what that means, but I'm not really sure. Anyhow, this is a disaster, but I'm leaving it because the bees love it. So I'm leaving it for them for now. This is the rest of the kale that I need to harvest up. And there's like, a, this spinach got really stunted. I think there's a little bit of lettuce in there too. <laughs> like this bed just went wild and I just let it go wild. There's the grapes doing well. Here we've got a whole row of red onions. They go all the way down. You can see them and then see my little sign. And they go all the way down until that yellow sticker, sticker tag. And that's what starts my Texas sweet onions. And they go all the way down. And then we've got Texas sweet onions, Texas sweet onions. And then my yellow onions start here. Now the yellow onions are from, see some of them didn't get pushed down in the ground all the way. Ella helped me plant and I don't think she, so you can see that one's sprouting right there. There's a hundred plus bulbs of the yellow onion. It is cold. These are the buckets that I was talking about. We have one here and then one over there that you can see. Two, three years ago, we tried to do potatoes in them. It didn't work out well. We got some harvest, but not a lot. That was also our first year doing them. And I think that we harvested too early, so our potatoes were really small. There you have it. I'm going to get on to doing seeds and I'll take you guys on that journey with me, obviously as well. But I thought I would just show you guys kind of how I was planning out what I would be planting, what we would be planting and kind of just the layout and the idea of how it was going to go out there. All right. Until next time, we'll see you later, guys. Bye.